If you want the best weapons and armor in Power World, you have to get legendary schematics that drop from the Alpha or World bosses, or get extremely lucky with the red chests in the frost area top left, or the dungeons in the same place. The Alpha bosses might be the play to farm, and you can make them spawn a lot quicker by changing your custom world settings and having the spawn rate be 3, and also change your day and night cycles to maxed out at 5, and you'll only, you'll only wait around 15 minutes for a cycle, and the bosses spawn quicker versus waiting the normal hour for the current world boss spawns. Now, which world boss drops what? King Pocket level 23 drops the legendary bow schematic. Not too hard of a fight and a very good thing to have early on. Also super close to the spawn. Left to him, we got Bushy and they drop the legendary crossbow schematic and they're also level 23. Then a bit above her to the left, we got Beacon level 29. He drops the legendary handgun, which I think is pretty fun to use. Then to the far freaking right, we got Suzaku in an area where you want to have either heat resistance, actually heat resistance and cold resi resistance, because at night it's freezing, during the day it's hot. Suzaku's level 45, they drop the legendary pump action shotgun. Also, the fight isn't super easy if you're underleveled, so good luck. You might need it. Then far bottom left, we're getting whiplash here. We got Blazamut at level 49, who's kind of hidden in a cave. To find that cave, just spawn in at the foot of Volcano, this little spawn port right here, and then go kind of straight towards him. At night, you'll see fire, and during the day, you'll just you'll spend some time finding it. He drops the Legendary Assault Rifle, which I think is kind of cool, but handgun's more fun, IMO. And farming him's good too, because he's a really strong fire-type monster. Then, far top right again, we got Palladius and Necromus, which is a dual fight, and I'd say probably the hardest in the entire game. What even just killed me? I'm playing Sekiro, dude! Level 50 is where it starts getting kind of wild. Necronus drops the Heat Resistant Power Metal Armor Schematic 4, Legendary. And Palladius drops the Cold Resistant Power Metal Armor Schematic 4. This fight is dual if you're fighting them during the daytime. At night, I believe Palladius goes to sleep. And you can just fight the one who's awake. And you take it, a you know, mono y mono 1v1. During the daytime, they'll both fight you. If you have on the increased PAL spawn rate, you'll be fighting six world bosses at the exact same time. So good luck with that. Left a bit, we have Frost Stallion, who's a frost type PAL, very weak to fire, and they drop the legendary PAL Helm Schematic, your headpiece. Then far below that, we got Jet Dragon, who just roams around a little bit here, and they drop the best weapon in the entire game. Legendary Rocket Launcher. This thing stuns all monsters, even the base one's insane. And that apparently does like 1400 or 14,000 damage. I think it's like 14,000. It's absurd and insanely fun. For these pals, I think all of them can get back shots, no pause, using the pal spheres. With the legendary pal sphere, if you try and hit Jet Dragon or Necromius or Frostalian while they're not attacking anything, especially not you, from the back, you have a 3% chance of capturing them if you have your Lift Monks max, maxed out. This may seem impossible or super low odds, but I mean, I had a better chance using that on Jet Dragon than capturing it when it had 1 HP, basically. I went through 50 balls one time, barely caught it. Next time, went through 48-something balls, didn't catch it. I might be a backshot one-trick, dude. What is the deal? <laughs> what is the deal with that? Power World out here trying to rob me? ridiculous there are other boss drops for pre pretty much all the alpha bosses in the game they're just not as interesting but <clears throat> i could cover those Welp, i may as well talk about it so everything about the list is going to be a legendary but weaker than what i've already listed menacing drops the refined metal helm schematic four then you have lily nocturnal that drops the cold resistance refined metal armor weaker than what we're looking for before and then you have astagon who drops you heat resistance refined metal armor bottom left of the map uh freaking not bushy war sect who's near an awesome place to farm pal fluids he drops you metal helm schematic elizabe middle of the map right here they drop the metal armor schematic and pen king <laughs> he drops the feathered hair band schematic I, I'm telling you, I didn't know that any of these bosses dropped anything worth going for, let alone legendary stuff. 
And a bunch of other bosses do drop things too that are lower level. They're just not as interesting to me personally. Like if you want to get Ring of Grass Resistance plus one, Verdash. If you want to get, where is this? Jormantide drops the Ring of Water Resilience plus two. Anubis, Earth Resist plus two. Like you can, you can go farm those guys if you want to be the completionist that gets stuff that isn't really that crazy. If there were some damage rings, <laughs> I'm in there, brother. But I don't think there really is. If you want to get damage rings, the best place you can go farm is going to be dungeons, which I'll probably cover that in a different video. But dungeons, or I guess the top left area of the map, this part right here, is the best place to farm the pseudo in-game gear. It won't be legendary stuff, but it'll be pretty close. You can get greens, you can get blues, and you can get epics from the chests that are golden and also from doing dungeons. I think the final thing you merc can drop good stuff. You can get accessories that are damage-wise, health-wise, really awesome. So that's where I'd go. And I'll cover how to go through dungeons and a bunch of other stuff in a different video. But hopefully this helped you. If it did, a like and a comment, maybe even share, goes a long, long way. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Peace. How much does it cost to... 505 power metal ingots. 505 power metal ingots. It's like two gra 2,000 copper. It co <laughs> this rocket launcher costs a whole house and a home, dude. 505 power metal, power metal ingots is, I believe, 2,000-ish ore. Just ore alone. 202 polymer. Oh, my lord. 337 carbon fiber. That's not bad at all. 40 ancient civil civilization parts. That's not too bad. The Palmetto ingots is absurd though, but I'm, I'm making it. I'm eventually going to make four. I'm going to have four. Sooner than later. Soon, sewer? Sooner than later. I cannot speak. I talk too fast. I'm sorry. I'm putting all these people back in the base. We are making this thing. Anubis army. Go, go, gadget. Handy. Man. Wrong direction. You guys ran the wrong direction. You guys have failed the assignment. I'm about to break. I'm breaking it. I gotta break it. You guys can't be trusted. There's this. This is here. Gang. Let's, let's just... Over here. Please. Light bulb. Bro, what what are we doing? Are we against oh we need like oh we need electricity? I forgot. That's on me. The second he starts it up though, I need the Anubises to lock in just a little bit. There's electricity. You guys are just standing there. That's actually tilting. That's tilting. What there's so many of you. What happened? Did you get nerfed? He knows what to do. How does no one else? Because I'm not going to sit there and do that. These people are cranked out. And it's going slower than molasses. Listen, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. This is taking a year and a day. I'll probably have every legendary weapon and see how that plays out. That's the plan.